Hey guys, so I noticed on the MIT Facebook page that a few people were having trouble finishing the beavers, and so I figured I'd make a video tutorial. So here's mine, and that's what I'm going to try to make. Let's see. Step one. Step two. Step three. Step four, gently fold it back over. Step five, folding here and here across. Six is using, putting this edge to this edge. Next step is using this vertex you just created and then matching it with, matching this with the horizontal here, these horizontals. You make another crease. So this step eight is crimp, which is kind of tricky to think about. So what you do when you crimp is you put this part in like this, and then this part out like this. And then it says rotate, so just orientations like that. And then you fold and unfold right here. You match this line up with this line. Unfold. A squash fold is where you're going to use the vertex you just created right there, vertically up, and then fold it across at that point to flatten it like that. So you go using that as the vertex and matching this point on this up with this line. So your, your points that you here and here and then from that you push this line up vertically and that's your squash fold like that so it says to wrap layer behind so what that means is that this is gonna go back like underneath instead and still be folded up so looking at it like this this is gonna be back here. There's going to be this line, this edge is going to be back here. So you open it up and just push it there. And then keep, keep this still here and just push this back like this. And Fold a little piece down, and then fold the whole thing inside. So it's just, that last thing was just like make this little thinner. Okay. And now, the other side, so. And reversing it, I can do better this time. So this edge matches up with this edge and it pivots along this axis of a fold previously created. Using the this vertex we just created and aligning this line with this line to make sure that it is like a straight up and down crease, you make another line. And crimp these awful, awful crimps. So in this one, you can tell by step 19 that you want like this part out, kind of, and then this part in. So you just go like this and then push along that. Crimped. And then valley fold that back. You use the vertex here from a previously made fold, if you can see that, and the vertex here and make a line along that. And 
closed sink. Oh, this is gonna be rough again. <sighs> closed sink of ugliness. Let's see. Shh, it's okay, paper, it's okay. It's okay, paper. Okay. Just softly reassure your paper that everything will be fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's kind of flat. It's kind of flat. It's not too bad. This is better than the last beaver. Okay. So that's creased. Awesome. Squashed, flattened, closed, synced. Okay, fold and unfold along, matching up this line with this line is a previous crease and it goes through some heavy papers underneath so that's kind of icky but you just push through it and then crimp another awful crimp but this crimp it's this is the valley and this is the mountain but this is the valley and this is the mountain so it's going to go back along this thing. Those are my noises of disgust at how icky it crimps. And then forward. It's gonna be okay, Tim. It's gonna be okay. Forming the hands of the beaver, so it's nice if you get these like triangles right here really nice and pointy. First fold, repeat behind. So that's step 23. So you fold this back, and then you just tuck it, fold this back, and then tuck it in like that. Yeah, so it looks like that. And then you do it again. So you make a little practice fold, and then you tuck it in for real. And then make sure that the hands look extra spiffy and pointy, because that's just a nice look. And then do it on the other side. The next step is to mount and fold. And so you're gonna mount and fold from here to wherever you can reach farthest back, back here behind Tim's hind leg. And then next is just to shape the head. So, to shape the head, you first make a little crimp, which was pretty hard for me. Um, you just look at this and you think, okay, where do I want the head to be? What do I want the head to look like? So you start, one of your axes is definitely gonna be right here. And you're gonna make two little lines coming out of it as your folds, but you gotta make sure that they're small. So let's see, I'm just gonna, just gonna wing it. I want here. I'm gonna pinch here to make sure that the folds don't exceed past that point and pinch here too and just hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. make it like that. Kind of shape it with my fingers before I do it. But it may it might help to go with one side and then the other side. Kind of. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good to me. Looks good as the first side. And then I'll try to match it up on the second side if that's possible. One side's probably gonna look better than the other, so we'll just show that side at the end. So crease that, and it's really just a tiny little crease. Tiny. Just to make the head separate from the body. And then the final touch is just to make the nose or the snout or whatever. Use your bio names. So whatever looks good to you, and I think that looks good to me. Yeah. Okay. Fin. So that's the beaver. It's beaverkin. There we go. Hope that's helpful.